what's up? How's it going? So I just wanted to do a quick video update on what's going on in my life. And uh, I thought I'd just uh, go through the woods for a walk with Raven. Um, there's a wedding that's going on in the park right next to my house. So they're going to be pretty loud. Uh, so today's update is going to be about my chicken, about the gourds, my garden, and just upcoming projects and stuff. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> that was a terrible throw. <laughs> Let's try this again. Hey, where are you going? Come here. <laughs> okay. All right, let's start off with uh, my chicken. So I've had my chicken for about 20 weeks now, uh, almost 21 weeks, I think, and they still haven't laid any eggs. And um, it's getting colder, so I feel like that might be the cause of it, I'm not really sure. Um, they're making a lot of noise now every morning. And I found out that the uh, black and white chicken that I had um, is not a rooster. I actually have five hens. Um, and that's good because I don't have to deal with a rooster that's crowing every day. Um, I have three different sets of chicken basically. So the first set is the five that I originally had. That's fully grown right now. Uh, the second set I'm selling and I've already sold them but I still like have them in my possession until they get older. Um, there's four of them and I'll show a quick video of my setup for the small chicken coop in a little bit. And then uh, I have two more chicken in my shed. Um, and uh, the chicken in the shed has been causing problems because all the dust and debris and stuff from like the, the wood chips and all that uh, is just floating around in the shed and covering like a small layer of um, dust on everything in my shed. So I have to clean up the shed and uh, there's a ton of work to do essentially. And now that it's getting chillier, um, it's nicer to do the I know it's nicer to work on the deer hides and so I want to start working on the deer hides that I got last year and then probably gonna have to put out an ad for um, a request for more deer hides this year um, I'm definitely not going to be hunting this year I really want to but I don't think that's gonna happen because I don't have a gun <laughs> well I have a small gun and that's definitely not going to uh, kill a deer um, but uh, I think I'm just gonna continue learning and working at it and then hopefully maybe in the next two three years I'll have the opportunity to go hunting but right now I think I'm just gonna focus on just learning new skills um, I want to learn more about solar panels and solar power and how to hook up everything. Uh, and most of my content that I've been making has been on TikTok. Um, I've got a, <laughs> I've grown a ton on TikTok. I got like 250,000 followers or something. It's a ridiculous amount. And I'm really thankful for it because like 
I'm actually getting responses and um, I'm getting comments and a lot of people reaching out to me for advice or just sharing their knowledge with me. And so it's been a lot of fun working with uh, TikTok and that platform. And I'm actually making money. Like I'm making three cents per 1,000 views on TikTok. But on YouTube, I'm not making any money. So I don't have a huge incentive to, to uh, create lots of content on TikTok or on YouTube. And so my incentive has been on TikTok. And so I've been creating more content on there. So follow me on there um, and you'll see more content there. All right, so moving on, I wanna talk about the gourds that I've been growing. I was so incredibly upset when I saw like two or three of my gourds just on the ground. I came outside and then I saw like tooth marks and everything on my gar gourds. And then I figured out that it was because of all the squirrels. They actually went up onto the vine um, and bit them or like, like just chewed through the vine and then the gourds just fell. Um, one was horribly damaged. I'll show you guys later. Um, because of the wedding, I'm not filming uh, where my shed is. Uh, but uh, all of the gourds uh, were, were like taken down by squirrels. And I was so upset. But I managed to salvage a few of them. I got six of them, but I think three of them got damaged. Um, so like right now I brought them inside and I've been letting them dry. I wanted to dry them on the vine, but <laughs> I guess I can't this year. So I ended up um, trapping like 10 to 15 squirrels or something in two days. Um, I just got my live trap set up and then um, put peanut butter in it and I caught like a ton of them. I caught three, I caught three females though, so I um, let those go. All the males, I uh, dispatched them, saved their meat, I saved their uh, fur also. Um, and I've gotten really proficient with skinning and uh, gutting um, squirrels. And the meat is gonna be, has been saved for the chicken. I've been feeding it to the chicken. Um, and as far as like the, the hides go, I'm gonna process them eventually and um, make something out of them. All right, and so right now, um, I have been, so I have been looking for property to buy. Like I just want one acre <laughs> or, or more even, you know, five acres would be ideal. Um, but I'm, okay, let's see here. All right, so as I was saying, um, I'm looking for property to buy. Um, five acres would be really great, but I'm fine with a minimum of one acre because I don't need anything big right now. I just want to get started um, to learn. Um, and then I'll focus all my energy there, um, have a, a, a documentation of my progress through YouTube, TikTok, and everything, um, and then grow from there. And then eventually, some other day um, in the future, I might be able to buy more property somewhere else and then do the whole thing all over again, but uh, take what I've learned in the past and apply it there. So that's my goal, right? That's what I wanna do on YouTube. I wanna document my like self-reliance journey um, into like a homestead or something, right? Uh, I badly wanna do it, but there's so many things and to learn and so many obstacles right now. Like one of them is my car needs to get fixed and uh, I don't have necessarily all the funds to do that right now. I have like, I probably have enough money to fix the car, but all of the money is tied up into like other investments and stuff and emergency money for Raven in case anything does occur. 
and um, that emergency money is really important to me because uh, I need it, <laughs> right? Um, more than a car. So um, right now, what I've done is I bought a bike, and uh, I've been doing all my groceries, um, riding my bike back and forth. It's been exhausting, but it's working um, until the snow hits, actually. So um, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do then. But for now, um, things are going pretty well. Uh, work is good, could be better, but uh, I've been making like a little bit of income through TikTok, through my Amazon affiliates links, and a few other things. I want to start getting merch out, and that'd be really fun. Um, so I want to design like t-shirts and stickers and all that stuff because I used to be an illustrator So I want to do that and that's gonna take some time too uh, But as far as my chicken goes they haven't laid any eggs and I've gotten really um, bummed out about it so I might just like start processing a few of them just to learn because like it's already mid-October. It's almost November. It's gonna get really cold. So I don't really even know if the chicken are really gonna lay any eggs at this point. Um, and uh, the other chicken that I have right now, I'm just gonna give them to the guy that bought them for me because the setup that I have is small and it's not efficient. And uh, it was mostly just to learn and run into problems to solve. And I've done that already, right? Um, and I'm starting to really get tired of taking care of the chicken, especially when they haven't produced any eggs. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna continue being patient and see what ends up happening. Um, like if I had larger piece of property I could build the larger chicken coop the size of my shed um, have more chicken and be able to manage them a little bit better but right now because of the way everything's set up it's just a bit, a bit too tedious but the good thing that came from it is just having learned uh, about the whole process and learning that chicken is not really that difficult to raise all right, so I'm gonna walk back home and show you guys what's going on around the shed. <laughs> All right, so I'm back at the shed. Um, right over there, there's like a bunch of people. Um, they set up tents and porta potties, a bunch of chairs and tables. I think they're like handing out food and some sort of charity event, I think maybe. Um, it was really cool. But uh, yeah, my chicken here. So this one right here is actually a hen. And I thought it was a rooster at first because the tail feathers were all like curved downward and then everyone else's um, is really erect and it like shoots up. But this one here is all curved down. But it hasn't crowed or anything and it acts like a hen. <laughs> I thought it acted like a, um, a rooster at first but it actually doesn't. But uh, yeah, these two right here make a lot of noise. Um, this is my speckled Sussex. This is the biggest one out of the bunch. And I really like this one. That one's the smallest one. It's a Bantam. Um, I forget exactly what it's called, but it's um, it has like feathered feet. And then here is my other tiny, tiny, uh, tiny chicken coop. Yes, got Bantams and um, Speckled Sussex, two of them, or two of each. And these right here are also Speckled Sussex. They're getting a lot bigger and they shouldn't be in here anymore, but they're still too small to join the rest. Because the pecking order of these chicken here is really aggressive. Um, the Speckled Sussex normally isn't very aggressive, but because of the size difference is so high, or so big um, that um, they they pick on the smaller ones so much that I can't take the ones in my shed and put them over here. 
Um, and I tried that and they were like pecking at them so much that they weren't going to really be peaceful. And so I ended up just removing them and then keeping them all separate. So I have three sets of chicken. Um, but the ones behind me, these right here, I'm gonna process them probably soon. I want to keep them for some eggs, just to say that I accomplished my task of getting some eggs. Um, so I'm gonna try to be patient. <laughs> Otherwise my shed is a complete mess at the moment. Here's my bike. It's a lot of fun to ride. And my loft up here is just full of dust because of the chicken. Um, they scratch up the bedding and stuff like that and dust floats up and it just covers everything in the shed. Um, and so that's why I want to get rid of these. <laughs> basically or just get rid of this in general and they still need the heat lamp um, because it's getting really cold um, it's getting about 35 degrees and stuff at night but I need to clean up everything up here because it's just full of dust all right so here are my gourds see the squirrels bit off the top here and just started biting into the gourd this one here is the worst out of the whole bunch. See they chewed off the stem, just did all of that damage. And it's been like rotting. Well this is actually normal. It should look like this when it's drying up anyways. But because there's flesh from the inside that's exposed, it's gonna start molding on the inside. So like... Right in there, there's like a bunch of black mold. This one here is almost perfect, but the issue is the stem. Like I wanted the stem to be really long. And um, yeah, so otherwise everything is good with this one. This one here was untouched by the uh, squirrels. And these were fine also. And so I wanted the stem to look like this right just trim it to look nice that's all fine though so it's a learning lesson I suppose I'm gonna try to make sure that I keep my gourds safe from the squirrels or at least set up traps or preventive measures to keep them away uh, next year uh, but at least I have big gourds like this that I bought um, and they're really fun to work with this is the side of my shed. I'm gonna start building like a canopy across because I set up like the bricks here already. Bricks have been really, really nice. I cleared up this space right here and everything past this wall right here is the city. So anything from the brick in is mine. Um, and so I actually want to clear up that area because there's um, there's like a whole row of stinging nettle right here that kind of covers up everything and so that bunch of wood I want to have like a circle or something and have a fire pit over here just to hang out and stuff and do just camping stuff uh, but that side right there is the city side uh, but it gets covered up right here so I think it'll be okay um, just to have some more space to do things. And as far as my black cobra peppers go, um, this is the smaller plant that was planted in the garden. I had another larger plant as well, but these um, are never going to turn red because <laughs> it's gotten too cold now. And um, I'm just going to keep it in the pot here and, until it dries out and then I'll harvest them. Uh, my uh, my jalapenos are doing well also. The leaves are all like wilted and dried up because we had a frost one night. I'm leaving these on the plant because they're beginning to turn red or orange and that's what I want them to turn into um, because I don't want to eat them green. And I've collected most of my sh sage already um, and I've dried them and it's really really cool to have a bunch of sh sage available bunch right over there is my carrots. I don't know if I'm gonna actually get any carrots to produce but 
Um, I'm just going to leave them as is. This is my uh, red burgundy okra. I only got like two spears left. Um, they didn't produce very well this year either. I also think that it's possible that these chicken right here aren't laying because they can see the chicken over here. And uh, it's causing them stress, I guess, or just causing them to be too curious to want to lay eggs, maybe? I'm not really sure. But I'm getting really, really incredibly impatient and I really just want some eggs just to, to say that I've been able to raise chicken to get eggs. All right, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, I've got a whole ton of work to do. I got to clean up and um, yeah, I, I got to clean up the shed. I got to do some errands, ride my bike around, do some exercise and uh, edit this video and upload it. <laughs> Well, I really appreciate everyone watching. Um, I want to do this for a living someday, where I just make content, but like document my journey and uh, like learn from others too, because I've built a community around myself where I can gather information from others, and I'm learning from other people as well, and. Um, I want to do this for a living you know I don't want to be stuck to stuck in a nine to five um, in a corporate job you know like I enjoy my my peers at work and talking to them and learning from them but I would rather be doing all of this stuff yeah so uh, thanks for watching the video again <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video take care peace out